Beginning in the late 1860s, Five Points became one of the first neighborhoods to develop outside of Denver in the soon-to-be state of Colorado. Its name refers to the neighborhood's five-way junction, consisting of what we know today as Washington Street, 27th Street, 26th Avenue, and Welton Street. When streetcars began to thread their way through the neighborhood, there wasn't enough room for all street signs, so the junction stop was nicknamed Five Points, and the name stuck. The new suburb initially developed with German, Irish, and Jewish residents enjoying the city's first public park, Curtis Park. Eventually, upper-class whites moved up the hill to Capitol Hill, and African-American residents moved closer to the rail yards lining the South Platte River. Colorado's oldest African-American congregation, Zion Baptist Church, and the city's first all-black fire station, Fire Station No. 3, were established in the neighborhood before the turn of the 20th century, seeds of the formidable community to come. In the 1920s, discriminatory housing policies kept African Americans segregated in five points. By the 30s, more than 75% of the city's black residents lived in the neighborhood. Despite hostilities from the Ku Klux Klan and crowded living conditions in an aging neighborhood, Five Points flourished as a vibrant black community. In fact, it's said that mail could be addressed to Five Points, Colorado. Prominent black professionals such as Dr. Clarence Holmes and Dr. Justina Ford broke the occupational glass ceiling set by discrimination. From the 30s through the 50s, Five Points reached new heights as a cultural and entertainment mecca, especially for jazz. Its flagship venue, the Rossonian Hotel, hosted a number of famous acts, including Duke Ellington, Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, and Nat King Cole. The bubbling community would also nurture local legends like Charles Charlie Burrell. I had learned from the age 12 uh, how to play what they call black music in those days, kind of bassy and all that sort of thing, and playing in the city parks with the white fellows. As the only jazz scene between St. Louis and the West Coast, the neighborhood became known as the Harlem of the West. We called it the glory days because we had the good food, good music. Oh, it was magnificent. Just as Five Points once found its name in the conjunction of streets, the neighborhood has come to be defined by the synergy and synchronicity of community, culture, and music that Denver celebrates to this day through the Five Points Jazz Festival. Major funding for Five Points Jazz Festival provided by Denver Arts and Venues, bringing you the Five Points Jazz Festival for nearly 20 years. Committed to equity, diversity and inclusion, and enriching Denver through premier public venues, arts, and cultural opportunities. Metropolitan State University of Denver. Stand up. Be counted. Encouraging everyone to complete the 2020 Census. It's easy secure and confidential and determines funding for education, food and housing, health care, hospitals and transportation. Shape Colorado's future. Bonfee Stanton Foundation, who believe that extraordinary arts and leadership are key to building vibrant communities. Kuvo Jazz, proudly partnering with the Five Points Jazz Festival since its inception. And Adams County Census. With support from these fine organizations, and viewers like you. Thank you.